What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, who are you? Don't you know that you're not supposed to feed the squirrels? What is wrong with you? It's just a squirrel. He's probably hungry. Oh, I bet he is. Don't you know that that squirrel that you're feeding is one of the most dangerous and gluttonous animals in all of Hamilton County history? A squirrel. Today we're going to show Anne how the Great Squirrel Stampede of 1822 nearly destroyed all of Hamilton County's food supply. How do you know my name? Follow me, Anne. Where are we going? To one of the many cornfields of Hamilton County. Uh, what the? Where are we? Not where, Anne. When? When? What do you mean, when? The year's 1822. And this is one of the many cornfields of Hamilton County. What does any of this have to do with squirrels? Well, the reason why we're in 1822 is because of a catastrophic event that can only be described as the Great Squirrel Stampede. Squirrel Stampede? Aww. No, 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 no. No Oz. This is serious stuff, man. The Great Squirrel Stampede of 1822 resulted in the absolute devastation of crops being grown in Hamilton County. Legions of squirrels swept across the farmlands for two weeks straight, eating any crop they could get their hands on, leaving nothing in their path. Not even the White River could quell the hordes of squirrels. You're serious about this? The squirrels came by the thousands. I mean, there was little that farmers could do but try and fight back. One eyewitness wrote in a letter to his brother, The corn this year was literally destroyed, unless in the prairies, by gray and black squirrel. Sir, there was by one man killed round one cornfield, 248 in three days, about four miles of this place. Many people lost whole cornfields. Twelve squirrels were supposed to destroy as much corn as one hog. They eat only the heart or pit of the kernel. The squirrel appears to be immigrating towards the southwest instead of the east, as he has always done heretofore. That sounds awful. What did everyone do for food? I'm glad you ask. There are several records of settlers hunting and trapping the squirrels. Squirrels were always so plentiful that we saved only the choice parts, the hams and the back. We always shot a squirrel in the head so that the bullets wouldn't spoil. Okay, no more corn deaths, no more squirrel deaths, no more disembodied voices, and I'm pretty sure you're using the same guy for all of the voiceovers. Yeah, we have a small budget. And I, uh, you know, I kind of get the feeling that you want to- I want to go back! Now? Now! Okay, we're back. Stop doing that! So how did it happen? What caused the Great Squirrel Stampede of 1822? Oh, great question. But to answer that, I'm going to need to bring in my very best friend, Hamilton County historian David Highway. Oh, it's you. I have a question about history. Well, that's what I'm here for. Today I've been telling Anne here about the Great Squirrel Stampede of 1822. Yes, a classic moment in Hamilton County history. And she was just wondering, what caused this immigration of epic proportions? Well, it had to do with the way the land looked at that point in time. It was a giant forest, much as the United States was from the Atlantic to the Mississippi. But it was at that time that the pioneers started moving into the area to start to cut trees and, and clear lands for crops. And then the squirrels had to emigrate to a new location because they didn't have any food. Roughly speaking, that's what caused the massive population dispersal, yes. Wow. Thanks, Hamilton County historian David Highway. Yeah, next time send me an email. Oh, he forgot his chair. He can probably just come back later and get it. Yeah, let's go. So, I'd say ignore what I said earlier about not feeding the squirrels. Plant a tree instead. That way they won't stampede anymore. Thanks. Well, Ann, I've got to go. See ya. Wait. Why did any of this happen? To inform the audience, of course. Audience? Why on TV?